Hey, this is Politics with Laura, and I got a good one for you today. Oh, man. Before I get into what I'm going to talk about, look, I'm trying to get to 500 subscribers. I know it's a big number, but it's so doable, and I need you to help me get there. And this video, you can't make this stuff up. Now, before I get into the video, I'm going to say something. People use the word racist. They just throw that around all willy-nilly to where it means nothing anymore. But if you really want to look at what racism really is, you're going to see it right here. Here. And I was surprised to see this in Yahoo News. And if you look, go back on some of my earlier videos, I did videos on this before this even popped up. So check this out. Seeking reparations from Supreme Court, North, Car North Carolina Confederate descendants fight statue removal. And you're going to... And Oh, so much noise. All right, and I'll put the article in in the in the link in the description box so you can take a look at it for yourself. So now, um, when you talk about Confederacy, I'm talking about the South, and um, that right there is a volume in itself in what it means but however this article is saying something rather different uh, interesting not different but interesting saying we saying it's owed reparation the pro-confederate group argued that argued in front of the north carolina supreme court monday that the government officials of winston-salem improperly removed a prominent downtown confederate statue in 2019. You want to talk about a racist group? Great. The United Daughters of the Confederacy right there have lost several previous court arguments uh, in this case and that the statute remained down even if even if they win Monday's case in front of the, the state high court the state's high court it is unlikely that the, the statue would immediately be put back up instead the Confederate group has asked for a new trial to be held over the statue's fate, um, time, this time with the more favorable uh, facts for its side. An important and an important and unresolving question is who actually owns a statue because the Confederate group does own does own it. The lawyer argued Monday then it is um it's right its rights were violated when the city took down a statue without even giving proper due process to fight that decision if the court um, if the court finds in its wisdom that the mo uh, that the monument is owned by the UDC <laughs> oh man then they have reparation rights, James Davis said in the group, group's attorney said. In a formal legal parlance, reparation is defined as the redress of an injury, uh, amends from a wrong inflicted, but practically or particularly in the context of the Civil War, the word is often used to denote something owed to slave people or enslaved people 
or their descendants, not the descendants of the Confederate soldiers who fought to preserve slavery. One of the, um, out of the, out of the uh, justice of the court's democ a democratic majority, Sam Irwin IV, asked Davis uh, what exactly he meant. Then he goes on to say, what kind of reparation rights, Irwin said, I mean, is there any evidence, any allegations in the complaint that the monument itself has has sustained or physical or any physical damage okay that's injured that's very interesting and for them to even ask for reparations for it I, I don't know um, but that group the United Daughters of the Confederacy um, that is a group but th there's um, something else to where they talk about uh, where is it okay it's concerned about the safe uh, Carmine said on Monday in the argue, uh, oral arguments took place oh man Carmine said Monday oral arguments took place uh, five years after the protesters first vandalized the statue in August of 2017. The protesters were upset with the event earlier that month um, at a 2017 Unite the Right to, uh, to Rally in Charlottesville, Virginia, where a white supremacist group rallied against the removal of the statue of the Confederate Robert E. Lee. I got a video on that one. Check out the Alfalfa Club. Um, <laughs> I'm so surprised that this article is dropping all these bombs and they're bombs, they're silent bombs, especially if you do not know who your enemy is. Just a thought. The Confederate, um, General um, Robert E. Lee, one of the pro the pro statue protester James Field, murdered a counter protester Heather Hare by remain by ramming the car into the crowd, and was later sentenced to life in prison. And that right there is sad. I mean, Heather she lost her life. Her mother only had one child. That was Heather. And what really got me was um, she was able to resolve it that her daughter did what she loved. And she loved fighting against racist ideologies and racist racism. And I have to thank her. And her, and her mother, my heart goes out to her. I have children myself. And just a thought, you're sitting there, sitting home. And then, then you get a call that your child is never coming back. But the only thing you can hold on to is that when they passed, they did what they loved doing. And her thing was fighting for justice. And I thank Heather. Thank you. After multiple acts of vandalism targeting the Winston-Salem statue, the city sent a letter to the United Daughters of the Confederacy man in late 2018 asking the group to take down the statue by early 2019 the, con the confederate group asked for a delay but the city took down the uh, took and took it down anyway which led to this lawsuit so Cameron said said the Confederate group shouldn't even have to stand shouldn't even have standing to sue the to sue the city under the the decision saying it can't prove ownership or any damages. That's interesting because in order to have a lawsuit, there has to be some something some there has to be some damages some some cause cause of action. 
Chief, Ju Chief Justice um, Paul Newby, a Republican, questioned the logic. He pointed to the letter the city sent in 2018 and suggested that even if the United Daughters of the Confederacy doesn't own a statue, the letter may have given some standings to sue since it implied the city's thought they owned it and might thereby or therefore have a have the fine of the group or find the group so it, it goes on just going back and forth but whenever you hear the united daughters of confederacy that's exactly what it is and if you check out the alfalfa club mm, check that out look check out my video and if not just look up the alfalfa club I already got <laughs> in trouble already for saying truth. <laughs> On one of my videos, I have a blue a blue banner going across it, just for using information that's already out there. But hey, YouTube is very uh, extremely politicized. So. On that note, I do um, appreciate you uh, spending time with me. And please, 500 subscribers, I'm trying to get there. And I want to thank you for stopping by.